everybody, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. As you probably saw in the intro, there won't be much of Jim or horses in this video, so I don't blame you if you decide to skip this one and wait for the next, as I promise that the next one will have Jim and the horses. Um, but the reason we made this video is because so many people in the comments were asking to see a little bit of our trip to Hawaii. And I'm sorry to say this video did get really long, so it's a little bit more than a little bit. But anyway, um, we hope you enjoy seeing a little of our footage. Um, I just wanted to say a few things before we started. As you see, will see, our travel style is really more of adventuring than it is like laying on the beach all day. So you'll see a lot of that moving around and seeing different things. Um, we tend to just like get a house or something that has a kitchen so that we can go uh, grocery shopping and do a lot of our meals at home. Um, so you'll see some of that in the video as well. We went to two islands, Maui and Oahu, and we ended up doing so much at Maui that by the time we got to Oahu, we were like exhausted and we did do a little bit more of like staying at our house and just going to the beach and stuff. And as you'll see, we loved our house in Oahu. Um, other than that, oh, well, the other thing about, I wanted to say about Oahu is you'll probably be like, why didn't you go to Pearl Harbor? Why didn't you do all this stuff? It's because everything was booked. People have been away for so long and now everyone's like flocking to, to go there now that people can go places, um, that just everything's booked. So we didn't see Pearl Harbor or Luau or anything, but it was kind of okay because like I said, we were exhausted by the time we got there. Anyway, we hope that you enjoy these snapshots of our Hawaii trip and make sure to tune in next time so you can see more of Jim working with the horses. So this is our house in Paiea. We don't really, I don't know how to say it. It has nice air conditioning. And it's a really nice space. They're very happy for it. Got two nice bedrooms. Who's happy? Us. And a nice bathroom. And we're very excited. It is our first day. We went to the beach for the sunrise. And um, today we're gonna go for a little little walk hike. We're gonna go for a walk hike and we unpacked all of our stuff so it feels like home. Feels like home for three days. We went to a gas station and got Sammy's and coffee twice. Go on, go on. So we've got the Hyundai Santa Fe, if you will. Uh, she's a beaut, she's a beaut. She's got everything we need and more. Mm -hmm. And would you look at that space back there? Oh, that's nice. That's good stuff. Shmima is rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. And here she is now. <laughs> you knew I was looking all over for my phone, didn't you? Nope. No idea. We had no idea. Oh, what I was you like were doing. so scared. I could not find it. I was freaking out, thinking it fell out of my pocket at the beach, and then I was because we're on this thing. We talked to then we remember that we talked about it. We got, got over it. up there. They were taking up the best picture spots. We just ate at the most delicious restaurant. Why don't you tell them about it? What was it called? 69. It was some number. Market. Something on a market. Market 69. <coughs> yeah, it was really, really good. Oh, well, I do have some pictures. It was pictures. actually really tasty. The fish taco with swordfish, which was, I've never had, and it was mm. delicious. Mm. With mango salsa. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, what was the name of, uh, 
and the taco was um, made out of potatoes. It was called purple. ube. Yeah, and you know what else we had? It was a dessert, and it involved three layers of of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> ube on top. Stuff. Coconut, coconut in cream. the middle, and passion fruit on the bottom. And the passion fruit was actually really tasty. It was a little gritty, and it was a little tangy. Mm -hmm. It was good. I so also good. enjoyed all three parts. But then we also had really good coffee with it. Yeah. Oh, delicious and the, the ambiance mm. in the place it was, was really beautiful. Good. Perfect. People. Perfect. I think we can all agree. Perfect, Perfect. restaurant. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Our waitress was so nice. We loved Super it. nice. Her name so, was so nice. Um, yeah. But I will say we also went to the yeah, valley, as you saw. But we were really, really tired. We got yeah, we we hit really a wall. Tired. We're very glad we only went on a short walk. But... We felt it wasn't the best for the money, maybe, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful, it was but beautiful. like we saw everything we saw in the from car. the car, and then we paid twenty five dollars to get in and walk. Like and we half got mile. to the top, and we're like, "Wait, this is the end?" Because it should have kept going. But we did see or a something. person get engaged. Yeah, we showed yes, them. and they had a big rock. Apparently, apparently, didn't but see it. They were standing right in the the best photo of you. Is it just me or is it getting really hot in here? Yeah, Let's it go. is. We've been going shopping, guys. Bye. Bye. We had to park 0.7 miles away from the beach. We got our snorkel stuff and we got this neat um, stick for the GoPro so we can go underwater and everything and we won't lose it and all that stuff. Show so we're that. very excited. Show them the stick. <laughs> Just Are you kidding. kidding me? Yeah, I am kidding. I, put, I took a picture for dad Shucks. and send it to him. Good. So we're ready to go for our 0.7 mile. Nice. Right. Oh, oh wow. wow. Like a beach. So we've walked seven miles. Excuse me, point seven miles. We're about to see the nice water. I can see it from here. Hold the mole, it looks the beautiful. Water. It looks gorgeous. Uh, and it looks like there are nice bathrooms too. They're not it's not far. Oh yeah. I think it's, it's really good. Close. I see. This is Sarah's number two. This no, is one the one that Erica This is one that yeah. So it's if, not that crowded. If you're watching this, holy cow, Jordan and Erica. <laughs> from Hawaii vacation, guys. We thank you. <laughs> We're excited. That must be the spot to go with video. Oh my goodness. Now this is Hawaii. This is what I'm talking about. This is it right here. We found it. Hey guys. So I'm just, you know, out here in Hawaii doing some snorkeling. And I just wanted to go up picture what's going on down under the mighty blue Pacific. Seriously, what are you talking about? The accident. I thought you 
told them about that. Oh, so we were in this parking area that we never got the ticket to go into, so we were already nervous because even though it said lot full, we never got the ticket, so we couldn't show them, oh yeah, we weren't here for very long, so we thought we were going to have to pay for $40, and then we got rear-ended, but thankfully it wasn't big, so. The guy was we called, I called the auto place, the auto rental place, and he was like, okay, just get the police report, and, I, and, and he's like, wait, how big is it? And I was like, it's barely a scratch, and he's like, oh, just no worries. And then he's like, just send me a picture of it. So I sent a picture, and he said, forget about it. So it really was not an issue. I don't feel like that's a normal car rental thing to do, but we were grateful. Yeah, and then there was so a true. loud squeaking noise, and we thought for sure it was our car, but it wasn't. And then they didn't make us pay to get out of the garage. We're just like, I promise, we just got in here, and we never got a ticket. So that was all blessings on blessings, but then our car window won't go down, won't go up, so it's open. I'm whispering so I don't get stolen. And now we're eating at a yummy deli. We are in shock and awe of our redeeming savior <laughs> because he, he, oh, he closed our window and we did not, I mean, we did, we did not, not think that was happening. I that. really didn't. Literally, the plan was to go to the re car rental place and hopefully they could fix it because mm -hmm. normally, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal, but there is so, there's so much theft, apparently. Right. So, so we needed nervous. to have the door to right. close. The window closed. Praise the Lord. Oh Seriously. my goodness. And now we don't have to, we're just not going to open that window. We're just, no, if we go through no, a drive through we're opening the door. No more drive through No more windows. None there. of the windows are opening for the rest of the trip. Yeah. Yeah. And we're still so tired, but we decided at lunch we're going to go over to Haleakala tonight. So this will be a good rest. Uh, air conditioning, beautiful countryside. Yeah. Yeah, it was, the, the snorkeling was like one of the Insane. best experiences of my life. But Insane. But we're going to do it again tomorrow. That's yeah. part of the reason why we're doing it. Yeah. So tomorrow we can go really early mm -hmm. and get a, a be good prepared. parking spot. We know yeah. what to do now. Yeah. Like seriously, if we leave yeah. And the snorkel gear that we got is we can keep it for the whole trip. Yeah. Insane. Is it for the same price? Yeah. Yeah, praise the Lord. In the moment Haleakala broke through the surface of the ocean about 1.1 million years ago, its volcanic activity has shaped life on Maui. Its size and height dictates weather on Maui. Passing clouds are stopped along the northeastern flank of the volcano, where rainfall can reach 400 inches per year. While on the other side of the volcano at lower elevations, a dry land forest environment prevails with rainfall of less than 15 inches per year. This variety of elevation and precipitation so that evening we decided to take the drive to the top of Haleakala, which is a big volcano on Maui. And it's very popular that a lot of people like to go for sunrise or sunset. And we wanted to go for a sunset, um, for one, so you didn't have to wake up so early, but then also you need um, reservations for sunrise. So we decided to go for sunset and it did not disappoint. As you'll see in a minute, we got as you're driving, I think the elevation is around 10,000 feet and you end up to be above the clouds and it's just a beautiful, beautiful view. This is absolutely terrifying. Somebody should not go up here if they're afraid of heights. I would find one of the guardrails here. Yeah. No, why do they not have guardrails up here? Yeah. But down there. I mean, technically it's less of a drop. Seven minutes. I can't imagine going seven more minutes of this. 
No, I'm having the best time. Yeah, fun way. This is like literally, yeah, starting to look like the moon here. Yeah, it does. Said the girl who's never been to the moon and wouldn't know what it looks like. Like I picture it being much more sandy, personally, but really, yeah, I picture it rocky. Or maybe Mars. Maybe this is what Mars looks like. I picture that moon be just straight sand. Really, sand. Yeah. yeah. That's wow. Okay. And then there's all this like. Do a shot of Abby, Trudy, because she, she can't get much closer to the view. I feel a little tense. Uh, and it's not just like a five minute type thing. You've been doing this for like <laughs> an hour, a good hour. But you guys, you can see the ocean. Don't look, Trudy Abby. I won't. Don't worry. And it's shining with the sun. What are these folks doing? Maybe this is the best lookout. Or Maybe they hike hiked. down here from the... They look like hikers. Yeah, they look awesome. Hikers all over. Oh, we're here. Guys, we did it. We did it. We don't have to go all the way over there. Oh, the wait, summit is quite far We can walk there. I can walk that. This is insane. And also, we really winded. There's three little garden girls standing out of their window in a light. Mars. Slash the moon. It's a little chilly. <laughs> That's why we're wearing coats. So here we are. Holy guacamole. That is incredible. We're driving home on the... From uh, Haleakala. We just saw the beautiful sunset, as you can see, it's still, I feel like this is even better. It's, I don't know, it's like it's more sweet. pink everywhere. I know. Not nearly as scary as I thought it would be. Low gear is really helpful, really helpful. I'm not pushing the brakes at all right now. It's like, is this real life sort of stuff? Yeah. <sighs> Trudy doesn't like sunsets and she was like, eh, I don't know if I want to go. Well, we were all kind of, yeah. we didn't know if it would be too much drive time. Right, like all this winding, it's just like, <clears throat> So far, no drive time has bothered me at all. Oh, no, because, that's such a good thing. because yeah, every I'm view is so different and it's so crazy. And the drive times are not that long. I am so nervous still. So. I can't tell you how much better I feel driving. Good. Yeah, I feel so I, much better not driving. I feel like I would have been scared probably. Yeah, I'm not. Well, let's keep this in mind for Hannah. You know, I'll drive if need be. But I'll drive. I'll, but Trudy drives most of the time. I'll drive. But I was driving and I was terrified because I didn't want to kill us all. That's true. I also have that same sentiment. Oh, cool. Well, not well listen, if you kill us all, I'm not going to hold it against you. Well, right. yeah, we'll, we'll be just be able to. rejoicing together. Yeah. <sighs> Do you think Dad would be mad? Yeah, Dad would be mad. I think it'd be a big loss for Dad. Dad would be ticked right off. So let's not do that for Dad. Is there a car coming? Guys, this is kind of nice. This is like a loss. Yeah, it is like a loss. Down area? I'm not sure if it's down area. Wild boys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's how big it is. Our monster has a lot of practice. This is our bird of paradise. Oh. Look at the all up the tree. How cool is that? And bamboo. It's starting to rain. Listen to it. That's crazy. This is a different place to hike. Wow, person can get lost. This is way cooler than the hike in Yao Valley Mills X. Oh, I know. <laughs>
you say? Did you go under that? No. I think it was glasses, yeah. I know it So the road to Hana is just a stretch of road that's only about 50 miles long, but it's so scenic and beautiful and there are plenty of different hikes and viewpoints along the way where you can stop. And most people that we've listened to have suggested that you take like a whole entire day on this road um, and so that you can plan out like where you want to stop along the way and you're not rushed. And what, we did that and then we spent the night in Hana, which is just a little town on Maui. Um, and then the next day we drove back to the airport so that we could go to Oahu. So we will show you a few of the different places where we stopped that day. We saw a few waterfalls, took a few hikes, but we were to Hana by midday. And then we also went like a little bit past Hana as well, but it was just, it was beautiful. There are 50 some bridges, 50 something bridges on this thing, and 40 something of them are one lane bridges. Wildly beautiful. You need to watch for falling coconuts. And over there, I think, um, over there somewhere is like the opening that that and honestly that might be the rock be it. Um, but it came in like it came this. in from that the opening scene yeah. of um jurassic park i've seen on gordon ramsay oh chicken to eat chicken oh, eating yeah. chicken yeah chicken's oh, a good solution as seen on gordon ramsay who is gordon ramsay he's, he's a chef, chef. oh was he a oh travel my chef goodness, you guys travel? look at this i don't know but this is really very neat look guys let's go here yeah why don't it's we? A beach. It's another beach. Yeah, it goes to a beach. So we just randomly found this place and it's amazing. We had a delicious lunch at the Chicken BBQ. As you can see, there's an island over here. It's being swarmed by birds. I'm not sure why but it looks like there's one lone tree on the island. Interesting. Yeah. Very careful. Well, be very careful. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm in King, I like I'm in King Kong right now. Yeah. climbing. This reminds me of the end of, and I honestly have no idea what kind of tree it was, but the end of Into the Woods when they're all up in the tree and then they like get the eyes yeah. eaten out and stuff.
really dark in here. Wow. This is real life. This is so cool. It's bamboo. We're in the bamboo forest. Oh. This is really cool. This is really cool. There we go. It is really cool. It's really raining too. Yeah. Good look. I'm going to that for We just wanted to give you a little tour of our most beautiful home. As you can see, well, I just went around a little bit. Okay. But it's like top notch, gorgeous. It's called Open Palms. Let's go with. Um, but we can put a link in the description below for the most beautiful place ever on Oahu. Um, so, this is the area. As you can see, mom's on the hammock. There's also a nice link. How cool is this tree? Answer? Very cool. We don't remember what it's called. Mom thinks it might have the word monkey. In it. There are a, in a lot of places they stretch out. They stretch out. You the can top see one over like there so too behind that palm tree. That that one hasn't been trimmed at all. This one's been trimmed, but it, it was apparently planted as a foreground tree 20 years ago. And it's massive. So, let's head inside. Mahalo for remembering your shoes. Removing. <laughs> Classic. So here we are in our beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love it here. The nice high ceilings. Are so big. 
and we can open them all and feel that sweet Hawaiian breeze. Ow! But there's also air conditioner for nighttime. Right there. And these beautiful tropical flowers. Like, look how tall they are. Look how tall they are. Where's Abby? Oh wait, she's way down here. Whoa. That's big. <laughs> and this beautiful seating area. And mom had this beautiful king bed to herself. We got all these topless Hawaiian girls. <laughs> and then this is the kitchen. This is, oh, the Hawaiian food that we didn't like. Um, it was very adventurous food. <laughs> well, too adventurous for us. <laughs> and this is the bathroom. Ooh. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> and then this is my entry's room. Look at that view though. Oh, there's mom. She's struggling on the hammock. She's trying to take pictures. <laughs> Taking some selfies. <laughs> I doubt she's taking selfies. Uh, classic. So yeah. So it's yeah. a beautiful place. Overall, we're, we're a big fan of this place. If you're staying in Oahu and looking for a good time, <laughs> I suggest relaxing at Open Palms. Can you imagine that beaches like this exist and are like empty? Wild. Fourth of July weekend. There goes mom. Can't hold her back. Let's get our boogies and boogie. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, it's so beautiful outside. Everybody. First taste of dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, dragon fruit. <laughs> <laughs> it's good? Yeah. What would you, what is it likened to? Some kind of sweet fruit. Uh kiwi? Yeah, maybe. No. It's not tangy. This is so this has got to be good for you. This has gotta be like like because it's so colorful. Yeah. Really? It doesn't have a lot of flavor, I don't think. No, it's not. It's just kind of sweet, a mild sweetness. Mm -hmm. And the um, little seeds aren't as gritty as you think. No, they're not as gritty as like this is good. kiwi. No, well. Oh, what was the other one we had? Dragon. Passion. Passion fruit? Did we actually there have passion fruit? Like... Oh, no, it was the whatever we had in the little thing from Roger. What was that? Pa, 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 pa. Papaya. Mm -mm. See the um. Oh, that's 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 really seedy. Wait a minute. Is that oh, pomegranate. Pomegranate. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the bottom of the little truffle. Thing. Yeah, that was passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit was more textury. Mm, that was more tangy. Yeah. I like the passion fruit. I'd like. I wonder what passion fruit looks like. I don't know. Let's see if we can find some. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It was so. Mm. Mm, good flavor. But look, there's more. So here we are, just your typical day in a crater in Hawaii, in the desert. It's pretty neat. 
So this was the beautiful beach near our house in Oahu. We loved it so much because it was so uncrowded every time we went and it was so easy to find a parking spot and it was just beautiful. The water was so blue in all of Oahu and this is the one, one of the only times when I think that the camera came close to showing how blue it was. In this clip, I think this is somewhere around the time when mom and Abby were telling me that they just saw a sign saying beware of the man of war jellyfish and I was like oh no I'm glad this is our last day because as soon as they said that I was like nervous but it all worked yeah, out On one of our last days in Oahu, we got to taste some coconut. A man came over to the house where we were staying to pick some of uh, the coconuts and he prepared one for us. And we were able to taste it that night. and corn. Yeah. Open a pub with a butter knife or stick a straw in it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Huh. It'd be best maybe try it in a fridge, get it chilled for a little bit. That's what, that's what Kitty said. That's yeah. really yeah. cool. And then you can just yeah, put something. Then when you drink all the juice, just don't sit on a cement or crack it in there. Oh. Yeah, you just hit it right alongside, it'll crack. Right. Wow. Huh. Oh, and it's all ready to eat at that point. Yeah, right now, when, when you. You just pop this off then, you got the meat. I mean, a little softer than the hard brown coconuts. Yeah. Yeah, it looks wow. totally different. Yeah. That's interesting. That's Thank very cool. Very Thank much. you. No problem. It's the 4th of July. Okay, let's try this coconut water. I already tried the top of the coconut. The fruit and did you like it? Delicious. So this, this is the coconut that our friend cut down from the tree for us. It's like strong. I think it tastes really good. What does it actually. taste like? It's a lot better. It's almost fizzy. I mean, I know it's not fizzy, but yeah, it has a strong feel about it. Yeah, I think it's good. Fermented. I didn't like coconut water I've gotten in the store before, but this I like. Abby's not a coconut fan, but 
But it doesn't really taste like coconut. It doesn't taste like coconut. I mean, I don't really. Obviously it does, but. I know. Maybe you would consider coconut. Right. It'd be interesting to see what you think of the taste it's of coconut. It's like coconut. flavored water. Yeah. I it's thought good. it was more milky in there. Mama. She likes it. It's got a little, like a little bite to it. There's quite a bit in there. I have to drink it all up so it can eat the inside. Can you hear them fire? It's interesting how. I can't see anything else. I think it's interesting how it's like white instead of brown. Yeah, like right? I think yeah, so over time it would turn brown. Enough, but. There are no rocks. Man, it's hard, huh? How's it going? Actually. Actually. Take, take it and just chuck it on the ground. Hit it with a rock. Can, uh, oh, guys. Yep. Got some. Oh, one more. One more whack. Hard, Trudy, hard. Okay, Mom. Mm. Okay, that's not very much, though. No, oh, wait, no, it's, it is. Five minutes later. <laughs> just do it harder. Just take it and smash it. Chuck it on the ground. Like, it. I mean, I guess that's what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, that's what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Like, it's open. You just gotta rip it's it. Just, and then what do we do with it? I could use a knife. Okay. Got it. Mmm. Mm. This part's for you. Uh, just a lot of coconut. How do you get never like, enough? I always say. And then this part's for you. Abby. <laughs> Great. For the for girl me? who doesn't like coconut. Do you know how many times I sat in Grandma and Grandpa's living room with a little knife? Yeah, and these I do. Hard, hard coconuts. I mean, I had like a sh not just a butter knife, a sharp. Yeah, knife. like and a I sharp knife. But you should not be doing that. Like, I've got my whole thing. I can't take any of yours. I'm gonna have a hard enough time with this. Let's take it's it. completely different. I do think it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good, but it doesn't taste like coconut. That's good. Like I don't like coconut. coconut. I think it's good. So it's definitely a different consistency, per se. Uh, it's just lighter. We do have some lime yeah, music going on that we're rocking to. Let me take a look, see how I feel It seems it. the same. It's just softer. No, to me, it doesn't taste More coconut. soft, I guess we could say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me take a look. Trace it, right? Is that coconut abs? I don't taste it. It's not as strong. It's more rubbery. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have much of a taste. Honestly, this is how I remember it tasting, though. It's just softer. It's more soft. That's yeah, fine. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't taste like coconut. This is crazy. This is banging everywhere. You hear that, guys? It's a party next door. We're having a party here, too. <laughs> you guessed right. Chocolate covered coffee beans. <laughs> Wild 4th of July party. I'm super tired. Mom loves her rock music. She's a rocker chick. Um, so. Yeah, but I was just saying, I was in the, you know, I was in the bathroom and I'm hearing banging everywhere and I'm like, this is crazy. People are nuts with their Fourth of July. This is where we're eating dinner. Trudy got coconut shrimp. Mom got pesto filled chicken. And I got kids meal. 
which the lady so nicely told me about because it's only supposed to be for 12 and under, but she let me have it. And it's like awesome, but it was like 11 bucks. But guys, look at this view.